Okay, I'm going to have to replace the drive belts on this mower. And this is a Husky LT4200. Well, this is the correct one for the one drive belt, and this is the correct number. Now, it might have 954 instead of 754. Either one will work, <clears throat> but this is the correct part number. Another one that I'm going to need is over here. Now, I bought this one and it's a half inch by 71 inches and I put over here that it's a an eighth inch short on the width and I also bought this one it's five eighths but it's only 70 inches I need 71 so I'm gonna to have to go to the store okay here's the receipt that I have as you can see, the uh, belt I got only cost $18.99, and here's the right size for this particular mower. Now you can also get a, an original MTD mower belt, and uh, those are, according to Amazon, those are about $33, $34. Here's something else that's important is um, this little sticker here and right here is um, the upper drive belt which we're going to look at and the lower drive belt and I believe I'm going to replace both of them and then they give part numbers over here for both of those okay well here's the problem look at this belt here it's all wrapped around there and it's the belt goes way up in here you can barely see it also this bracket has to be taken off now this bracket goes up here like this and then there's a, a bolt that you have to take loose and the bolt looks like this. And it has a point on it. Okay, so I took that loose. And then there's another one on the other side of this bracket that has to be taken. Then you just take this out. You aren't going to need that right now. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this off. This goes up there to that bolt right there. And right here is the, the other connection. In order to take the deck off, we're going to have to move this lever clear down to number one. Okay, we got the deck out. Now we got to take the battery out. Okay, now this deck lever, you got to move it all the way back to here. Well, because it's in the way. If you can see, it's going to be in the way there. And then you can move it wherever you want to uh, as you progress on this uh, belt business.
Okay, here are two small connections here. I labeled this one. This one goes on the front, right here. And this one, of course, goes on the back. So take those loose, then we're going to take the seat off. Probably isn't how you would do it, but I took a sawzall and cut this area right here in the front here. I cut it clear over here. All right now, you take these knobs off, set them aside where you know where they're at, and sort of put them in a pattern so that you know where they go. Okay, now here's a very helpful tool uh, we're going to use to pull the pulley back. All it is is two pieces of wood. They got rabbits in them, and then they're just held together with a screw right there. So you got to take this wire, hook it up and then put it together. You can use your pliers on that. Now you're going to take it and you're going to pull your pulley over. Make sure it's going to stay, not come off. Now you're going to take this, put it on here, like that. Pull it over. Okay, see how it loosened up the belt? Okay, this is a big nut in here. This is going to take a lot of effort to get this off of here. First of all, I put this uh, punch in here. There's a hole here. I put this in there first. And if you can see down here, it's resting on the transmission. Okay, so then loosen this big nut up here. Okay, now I don't know if I can just loosen it and get it on. We'll try it. Okay, now we got to get this belt off of here. Okay, in order to get this off here, I had to loosen this pulley. I took the nut clear off. Then I had to like, take this lever and put it, push it clear back. Like that. And I was able to get the belt off. And here it is. Uh, this one has some fuzzies on it. Um, from the other belt. Fortunately, this belt is fairly good shape. It's not too bad. I can either use this one or put a new one on. I'm going to put a new one on. Okay, we got one right over here. The one I showed you earlier. This is the one. Right here. I got it marked. 
the outside of it, this part, is 36 and 316. And the last one goes up in here. You might have to hold your light so that you can see where the holes are to thread them in because you don't want to thread them in crooked. Now I gotta find the right bolt or throw it right socket. These are millimeters. Okay, these are 10 millimeter. Make sure. 10 millimeter. Okay, just thread them in a little bit and then we'll put the next bolt in. And make sure that the washer goes up in this recess and doesn't get hung up somewhere. And then this one here is 13 millimeter. And that's going to tighten this bolt that's holding this variable pit pulley up here. Uh, see the pulley's turning, so I'm going to have to put my vice grips onto this pulley. 